to the site to Banner Thieves 100% walkthrough on PlayStation 3. This is part 39 and we are still doing episode 7. Today we're going to do Bear Cave Bugging and then we're going to do another slime mission after that slime mission. Just to tell you, you know. So this mission is going to be pretty dangerous because it's in the name. Because it's Bear Cave Bugging. You don't want to do that in real life. Just don't trust me on that. But oh, why did that always happen? I always go up on that, and I always get hit. Why is that? It's so stupid. But let's start bear cave bugging. The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. So let's crawl into the bear cave. Sound safe. Stay clear of the thin crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. So we need to get these transmitters from the bears. But the transmitters are in the bears' mouths. And they're sleeping, so when they open their mouths we just have to pickpocket. Pickpocket. Yeah. You have to pickpocket the transmitters out of their mouths. And that's six bears to do that. He has six bears. Be careful. Be very, very careful. And don't walk on this thin, cracky ice. Because if you walk on that, they are going to wake up. And you do not want that. And now someone is starting with garden machines and stuff. That is quite annoying. It's probably my dad. That's quite annoying. Oh yeah, don't walk on the ice because they will wake up and then they will kill you and you have to start the mission all over again. It's not that big of a deal because it's we are not that long into the mission anyway, so yeah. But this is pretty cool. Just look at this. This looks very, very cool. Very cool. I like that you have two canes when you're doing that. Looks very nice in my opinion. That's the fifth radio transmitter. Now we've only got the sixth and the last radio transmitter to get. And then we're done with the mission, basically. And that's awesome. And this one is a little bit longer. Uh, well, by using these canes to go to the sixth beer, basically. But the bear should be just down here. He should be anyways. Is that this guy? Yeah, it is. Now we got the radio transmitters, and I'm probably talking over Bentley, but we'll just go out of the cave now and be careful with that swingy thing. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. Now we'll just have to place these radio transmitters around John Bisson's house to create a receiver so we can listen in on what he's saying, I guess. Sorry if you can hear the background noises. But as I said, someone is doing with someone is doing something with garden machines. I think they're mowing the lawn or something. I think that's it. But yeah, six transmitters to place around John Bison's house. That's not too hard, really. It should be alright. Just place them around to make that receiver away. Kind of. 
But yeah, we're actually in part 39 now. One, the next part is actually part 40, so yeah. And I'm really stressing right now because I don't want this walkthrough to be 50 parts. Don't ask me why, I just don't want it to be 50 parts. I just want it to be like 48, that's my dream number of the length of this walkthrough. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I dream about how many parts a walkthrough is going to be. And the length for this one is 48. I hope it will be 48, but I doubt it. Hopefully. But I don't want it to be over 50. I just don't. Don't ask me why, because I don't know why. I just don't. But yeah, I've got a lot of nice things coming up now. Like, I'm soon done with Harry Potter and Frosty Stone on the PlayStation 1. So soon starting Ratching Lank again. And after I'm done with this, then it's Rayman 3 time. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. And hope you will enjoy it too. Really, really hope so. Oh, and it's stuck into the sauce. That's not good. It sounds like I said I got stuck in the sauce. I got stuck in the spaghetti sauce. That sounds sexual. Well, no, let's not do that. No. I've been quite um, weird in enough parts. I should not talk about spaghetti sauce and things like that. Let's just place the radio transmitters around John Bison's house, I guess. Now we're standing on the horns. That's cool, I guess. I guess so. And get up on top of here to place another radio transmitter. That's the fourth one. The fifth one is just over here. And the sixth one, I believe, is very close to that bear. Yeah, I think it is. Yes, it is. It's right over there, so let's go over and place the sixth radio transmitter. Nice work! The array is up and running! And there we go, with Bear Cave bugging. Now we're going to do another Sly mission. ba -bum. That is located over here. Just over here. This one is one of my favorite slime missions in this episode. Sly, I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the bug. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. I don't know why I said that this is one of my favorite star missions in this episode, because it's not. I know I said that, but I, we're in this place, this exact place, like two times uh, in the episode, and I really like being in here. That's probably why I said my favorite sound mission, but it's not. But I like this place a lot. Now we just need to redirect laser to get that outside the window, because we have to uh, f um, uh, get a guide to log shopping book, and that is inside ice so we need to get the ice away and we're going to use the laser to do that so we need to redirect the laser and i walked right into that if i did my bath right and i always do my bath right then the combination has got to be five eight three Zooks, that's a nice one. There we got the lightning spin, which is the thing you get for opening the safe for this episode. 
Now we got that done. That's great. Only one more safe to open the game. That's great. And now we'll just continue on. With some dangerous pause. Get more into that. Like this. This. It's dangerous. Don't walk on this in real life. Don't do that. But yeah, now we got the lightning spin. Now we just need to redirect the laser. Which is with that. You've done it! The laser's been redirected out the window. Now we've redirected the laser, so now we can go outside again. walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. So we just need to place these crystals at the end of the laser, like this, to make it bounce to another place, and we'll do that quite a few times to make it redirect on the ice. So we'll get the log chopping guidebook. Now you have to get all the way up there to get it, but that shouldn't be a problem because we've been up there before. Just like this, just climbing and stuff with the circle button and stuff. That's what we're doing. That one was a little bit um, different because then actually you actually move the whole thing. Well, that's cool anyway, so. But you place actually these crystals quite a few times, but. It doesn't take that long but it's quite annoying doing that when you get burned by the laser I do that quite a lot I think I should do and then I die of it in this part so yeah I get hurt by the laser quite a lot which is not good because I think I die of it as well and that's not too long until I die by the laser and I will just need to be careful to not get into a fight with that bear we actually are doing a mission with the bear later in the episode as well. Now we've placed it again. Now, oh, stop annoying me. These cars are freaking annoying. And it's nearly hitting the dock. Well, it has. I, I don't know, maybe. I think this is the one I get hit up and die. Just look at this. And I got hit by it. That's not good. I am dead. I haven't died that much in this game though. In this walkthrough, I think. So that's great, I guess. But we don't have that many more crystals to place. Oh, I got hit again. Before we like redirect the laser correctly, I think. And I'm, getting, I'm getting hit quite a lot by this laser. But yeah, not that many crystals left. And I'm being honest. So let's go and redirect like this one. Oh, that's very close. I think there's like two more crystals to place, and that's basically the mission done, I think. So that, that should be great when you're done with this part. So we can see it from here, it's on top of those ice lasers things again that we have to place it from. So yeah. And then we'll place... That's the wrong place. Wrong. It's not there, it's over there. Stupid my. But we'll go over and redirect that one. And after we've, we've redirected this one, like that, we can go down and place the last crystal. Stand clear, slide. Something else is coming out of the deep freeze. I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. 
Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. See you in part 40.